everybody, I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be kind of my experience with my natural hair journey. Um, I've been wearing wigs for, I want to say, five months. And my hair has grown tremendously with that whole time period. And I get a lot of questions about how I, like, keep my hair growing. And that's the top, like, thing that helps my hair grow. So I started wearing wigs in the beginning of the summer. And I was just bored with, like, because usually in the summer I'll do, like, my natural hair. I just wear that. But I was kind of bored with that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear wigs. And, yeah. So I usually make my wigs. If I don't make it, then I'll order it offline, of course. Um, a lot of the wigs I get, or a lot of the hair I get, I, like, to review, I'll make it into a wig. Like, this hair I just got sent to me. It's from Sunbear Hair. It's bomb. Um, so, yeah, they sent this to me and I made it into a wig. This is just like some tracks that I made into a ponytail today, but I have a wig that I made. I'll make another video, a separate video about that. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that really quickly. But I just get a lot of wigs sent and I always get bored with hairstyles. So I have a new hairstyle every week. It's very fun and, you know, I get to look like a different person every, every week. And, sorry I'm sick, but... Yeah, basically what I would do is I would, by the way, I'm going to be inserting pictures of my hair throughout this whole video, but basically for my wigs, I would braid my hair, I'll wash my hair clean, all that good stuff, and then I would braid my hair into like cornrows, and then I'll put my wig cap over it, and then I'll put the wig over that, you know? And then that's just what I would do. It takes two seconds, literally. Um, and it's so simple. Um, when you do do this, you want to make sure that you're keeping your hair moisturized and stuff. I personally, my hair grows when it's dirty, so that's another thing, like, that's why my hair grows so much is because, like, I'm keeping my braids in for such a long time, and then I'll take them out, and then my hair has grown, just for me not touching it at all. So if you do put, like, oils and stuff in your hair, that's also great, but I tend to just leave my hair as it is. Like, I'll put oil in it once I, when I first braid it, I'll put oil in it, and then after that, it's done. Like, I don't put anything else in it, in my hair. I just let it sit until I'm ready to rebraid it. But it's so simple, and it, like, if you have, like, patience your hair will go over time like my hair i want to say at the beginning of the summer if i could find a picture i'll insert it but my hair at the beginning of summer was like i want to say maybe like right here collarbone now when i straighten it or when i like stretch it out i haven't straightened my hair in five months either no maybe in four months um but when i straighten it it'll go down to here yeah right um i want to do a hair like straining you guys watch me straighten my hair for like the first time in forever. But I don't want to. I don't want to straighten my hair anytime soon. But when I do that, I will film it, like um, Outre or Fitress wigs. And sometimes I get Sensational hair. That's the brand of it. Um, and I'll get those wigs, and that really helps because it's like the wigs are good quality. Um, and you don't want to be getting like like cosplay wigs or like the wigs that they sell like Halloween like party city and stuff because like girl like what some people wear wigs like that and i'm just like why but i mean the wigs i get are always inexpensive if i do, i think the most money i've paid for a wig was like i want to say 60 dollars and like that's nothing like if you go on like any other wig like like if you get like a um wow african wig or a you know one of those high-end wigs they're like four hundred dollars and i could just like why like what's the point you know i mean the hair that i get sent that doesn't count because that's a bit expensive sometimes too but i mean when i'm when I, the money's coming out of my own pocket i don't want to be spending like bunches of money on wigs because like why but yeah the whole process is just super fun because like one day i'll be curly head the next day i'll be red the next day i'll have braids it just depends like you can get so many different wigs like i have braided wigs i have uh color like ombre wigs that are red and i have bob wigs and i have pixie cut wigs and i have you know long wigs and curly and all this cool stuff and i'm really happy because like i hate looking the same every day so like like i said i can be very versatile and switch it up real quick you know shade's never been basic like i'm just kidding but yeah i think that's all honestly like you really do want to get like some dope hair products like i know um like Sheer Moisture has Sheer Moisture, that brand has some dope hair products that I use sometimes. Um, Argan Oil is bomb. Uh, mainly, you just want to use a lot of oils and just keep your hair clean. So, oils, so oil, condition it, clean it, and leave in is great. 
Um, I used to do a lot of protective styles. Like, if I didn't wear wigs, I would do, like, you know, big puffs. I need to start wearing those. Those are cute. But I would do big puffs. I would do stuff like this where I would add tracks into my natural curly hair. And if you watch some of my older videos, you know that when I would do my middle part or side part ponytails things with my, with my natural hair, like, there would be little spaces in between because, like, there wasn't enough hair to, like, cover it. But now it's, like, covered. Like, look at this. Like, I'm honestly shook for life because like I can actually like swoop my hair without it being like spots in between. Is that a focus? Hold on. But I hope this video is like kind of help helps you guys like start wearing wigs more and I know it is kind of embarrassing because when you go to school people are like is that a wig? But I'm like girl yes come on now. But I don't know to be honest I don't care like I just I'm a confident person like I don't care if people have to say it's not like my wigs be looking like they're falling off or something and if my wigs end up getting stiff I just throw it away or I'll um yeah I'll throw it away because what's the point of me having a stiff wig when I can just buy another one you know what I'm saying um and they're really inexpensive so it's, it's fine for me um you do want to make sure that you have wigs that have clips in it. I don't personally use the clips because it can like make your hair thin, like around the, um, your edges and stuff. So I personally just use like the strap that tightens it. But you want to make sure it has some sort of protection. So if you're just walking down the hallway and some hater tries to like pull it off, you know, you got a little security going on. I mean, nobody has tried that yet because they already know that Sade has the two piece, you know, knock if you buck, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. But. I don't know, it's all about confidence to be honest. And if you're like grown or something and you don't like, or if you don't go to school or whatever, or if you just want to wear wigs on the weekends, like nobody will know. Especially if you're out in public and you're just with, with around a bunch of strangers. Who's gonna, who's, who cares? You know, you don't know them anyways. But I think that's all. I talked long enough. Um, but I love you guys. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. I hope this video helped. And I love you. Bye. Mwah.